Hey guys, I'm Sage Valentine. It's time for a recap and a review of Fox's Scream Queens Season 2, Episode 2, Warts and All. So, that tragedy that happened in 1985 came back to haunt that hospital because an 86 the green meanie popped out, killed the doctor, killed the nurse, and killed all the people that were partying on Halloween that year. So the dean decided to cover up all of what happened. And Zayday was looking through the files and the newspapers and she and Chamberlain uncovered the secret. They went to the dean, come to find out the dean is possibly sick and she has an ailment that cannot be cured. Now we have not seen evidence of this ailment we're only hearing it from the horse's mouth. I don't believe the Dean. I think that she has an ulterior motive. There's something fishy about that situation. Unfortunately, it seems that allegedly the Dean has one year to live and I don't believe that. Nope, Jamie Lee Curtis as the Dean. Dean Munch, she's too important to the show. I don't think they're gonna kill her off. But after watching episodes three and four, God only knows at this point, and I will be doing those reviews later on, on a side note. In regards to the rest of the episode, Denise Hemphill will never, ever let go of this idea that Zayde is the killer and has always been a killer and has it in her bones to be a killer, and that Zayde has a weave, and that Zayde is possibly a quote-unquote ho. I mean, Denise is a dog with a bone. She's never letting this go. Hannibal Hester. I'm so happy to see Hester back. I don't think it's a good idea to let Hester out, just like I didn't think it was a good idea for Clarice Starling to talk to Hannibal Lecter, but it happened, and it is what it is. And honestly, Hester's demands are too funny, and obviously they're going to let Hester out so that she can give them this information and let them know that such and such is the green meanie, but the writers aren't going to let us know. And they teased us once again because Dean Munch was about to remove the mask and <laughs> reveal who the killer was. And here pops um, Jacob from Twilight and Chanel number three. And I'm with the Dean when she said it. Well, she made this comment when she said like, the next time I'm about to reveal <laughs> Who the killer is, that is not the time to ask questions. I think that is something that resonates with all horror fans <laughs> all over the country. Anybody who's watching this review, anybody who gets annoyed every time the killer or killers are about to be revealed on any series. Thank you to the writers for mentioning that. In regards to Chanel number five, she has need a boyfriend. She reminds me so much of Noah from MTV's Scream, the TV series. Like Noah, no love. No boyfriends, no girlfriends, no cats, no dogs, nothing. They need to just exist without anything and just stay with the group. Because every time they fall in love, they have sex in the case of Noah. They even look at a person of the opposite sex, that person ends up dying. And Chanel was kind of shady for trying to give Chanel number five advice when it comes to Tyler. And you know, Tyler had that ailment, that neurofibromatosis type one that gave him all of those tumors and Chanel was basically trying to tell Chanel number five listen once he gets better and he's hot he's not gonna want you so you need to get him to like you while he still has this ailment but it appeared that he was going to like Chanel number five even after he was cured he seemed like he was in love with her it was a beautiful love story but the green meanie was like nope not gonna happen <laughs> Dr. Holt's crazy murder hand, I think that he's aware of what that hand is doing, and I think he has a lot to do with what that hand is doing. I don't think this is an idle hand situation. I think he's fully aware. Speaking of Dr. Holt and <laughs> Chad's big, huge cameo that he made and... <laughs> The fact that 
said he and Dr. Holt ended up in a scene in the shower room, nude, and then they touched penises, and that was kind of, like, creepy. And then Chad decides to surprise Chanel by wearing, of all things, a Red Devil costume. And he revealed that he was the person, or did she reveal it? One of them revealed that Chad was the person that popped up at the end of season one in that Red Devil costume and scared the crap out of Chanel, and he did it again. But the reason Chad was there is because his friend got freaked out after this hunting accident where he shot Liz Cheney in the face by accident, and now he can't stop screaming. That dude is too funny. That whole situation is way too funny. Oh, Kirstie Alley's character, Kirstie Alley, and her existence on this show, she's hella creepy. I don't know what is up with her character. Is she that wife that was crying in 1985 and begging the doctors to take care of her husband and she was big and pregnant? Also, how come we haven't seen, on a side note, that lady's kid? Because that kid should be at least like 30 or 29 going on 30 or 31 or something. Because some people online were saying that the kid was possibly Taylor Lautner, the other doctor who's like super cool, like I think um, like literally like cold cool and Chanel couldn't get over the fact that she kept touching him and his skin was really cold like he was dead. <laughs> but we haven't seen that kid so I'm wondering is he coming? Is Taylor Lautner that character? But if not, is the actor playing the character going to be revealed soon and who is playing the person it'd be really really funny if they got um corbin whatchamacallit from high school musical to play that part that would be really really funny let's see what else um i think that's about it in regards to the episode i am so in love with the green meanie i think that that killer is super cute, and I also think that there has to be more than one killer, like season one, and I'll laugh if there are three, but if not, I mean, that's my theory. I believe there's like three, but the question is who those three people are, and did that woman's husband really die when he was thrust into that ooze and that cape and that mask were thrown near him? Or is he one of the killers? Or is the son the killer? Or is Kirstie Alley the green meanie? I mean, I don't know who it could be, but I just really enjoy watching this series and I knew I had to do another review and I will be reviewing episode three and four soon and episode five. I'm keeping to my word because I am just about up to date on Walking Dead, I have to do the review for episode four, which means I have to watch episode four more than once to really, you know, soak in the info. So I'm definitely catching up on all these reviews. I love Scream Queens. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You all take care. I'll see you guys later. Love you all. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>